Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, May 29, 2022. You can be especially open with talking about, or analyzing, very personal matters today, although you can be a little detached about it all. It's an excellent time to clarify your goals in a partnership or see your own needs from others more clearly. A sun-uranus aspect influencing the day can inspire you, making you more, in tune, with your need for new ideas and experiences. Friends and acquaintances or new plans and dreams can be part of this inspired feeling. Courses, networking, teamwork, and publishing opportunities can be areas of improvement. Friends and alliances formed through your studies or extracurricular activities can be in focus and successful. You especially enjoy sharing viewpoints, personal philosophies, and opinions with others and making exciting discoveries in the process. While a strong day for you on social and mental levels, consider that because the moon is balsamic, it's best not to push forward with new plans just yet. The sun continues to energize and revitalize your ninth house of adventure, expansion, and unknown territory, but it is now approaching a sextile to Uranus via your 11th house of associations, community, and sense of belonging in the world. Is this love interest worth the risk? There's an exciting journey ahead. But before you embark on this magic carpet ride, you're being called to follow your heart and use your discernment. Both the Moon and Mercury will be transiting through Aquarius your 8th house of mergers, shared resources, and soulmate connections bringing awareness to the foundation of your connection. However, something could seem out of the box. A typical financial and professional opportunities are worth considering. The Moon has left your opposite sign, Capricorn, for Aquarius today, implying that you are ready to think outside of the box when it comes to your fiscal security. The moon is rather level-headed in Aquarius, so you can take how you feel out of the equation when considering your investments, shared resources, and assets. As you consider your opportunities, think about which ones are unique to your long-term plans and goals. You may find that a unique or unlikely opportunity could dramatically transform your finances for the better. Just four days before Venus and Mars, the planets of money and passion are due to return to your financial sector, the moon leaves just as Mercury and Saturn align here. As well as leaving you with your financial instincts and imagination fueled, this is a read on planets that are already giving you the smart head for money and the resolve to take your financial power back. Ignore everything your big head tells you. Your heart is the real master right now. No matter where it leads, make sure you follow along like a baby duckling. Today you can feel in tune with your most important emotions. You might attempt to focus your energy on creating affection instead of simply unleashing it. You need plenty of affection in your life in order to feel your best. When words fail, try to give yourself the opportunity to express your needs through affecting others in a positive light. You have a special connection to the economy. Giving your time or money to a needy cause helps you feel pleasantly connected with the world. The energetic essence of this day can give you the oomph to take some action in your personal life. As you know, not everything can be about work in your life. However, incorporating this into your day-to-day -day regimen can be challenging for you. If you take the time to make some plans to dedicate a certain amount of time each day or week to the people who are important to you, this can be an essential step towards creating more balance. Use your time management skills to make this happen. At the same time that Mercury's last full day in your financial sector is all about working with his smart head for money to keep your head in the game and to think on your feet, the moon is helping to fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination. It is this mix of intuition and logic, imagination and intelligence that is adding to the number of tools and resources that you have in your financial toolbox. This is giving you a tool for every occasion. Before leaving your friendship sector today, the moon will form a friendly aspect to Pluto, now on his own after Venus and Mars left your relationship sector over the weekend. While this is a monthly event, as well as creating positive conditions for friendship and relationship building it comes as the urgency has dialed back and it has become more about the journey.
Our eyes in the sky. Venus, the planet of love and money, squares off with Neptune, the planet of dreams and illusion. The energy will be tough to adjust to because you could feel uncertain and paranoid about relationships and money. Venus, which is currently in Sagittarius, just escaped its connection with the south node of destiny, which made us all feel insecure or lovesick or raised financial issues. Neptune is currently retrograde in Pisces. When these two planets square off, it can cause a lot of fogginess around partnerships and investments. Therefore, this isn't a good day for speculative gambles or investing in the stock market. Any investments made today may not yield as much profit as initially anticipated. Also, we could be too trusting of those who advise us on increasing our portfolios when they don't have our best interests at heart. This could lead to deception. The same applies to personal relationships. The need to have faith in and trust your friends, family, and partner can keep you from seeing the truth. On the other hand, you could see flaws you've ignored up to now. The cosmic energy is very dense, which is why it would be best to rest and retreat instead of try to connect with people. Watch a movie and take a nap instead of falling down the rabbit hole of paranoia. In the morning, the Aquarius moon forms a trine to Mars in Libra, providing us energy to greet the day. We pursue our ambitions with curiosity and a willingness to adapt, which is especially helpful should we need to convince others to join forces with us or lend their support to a cause. We are a good team player now, however, we should simply be mindful to avoid acting in the interest of popularity if plans start to stray too far from our original objective. The moon begins its void following this aspect, making it wise to stick to plans already conceived instead of starting something from scratch. Mid afternoon, the moon enters Pisces, ending its void which began in the morning. Over the next two days, we are at the mercy of the fluctuating rhythms of our emotions. We might prefer to spend our time in the company of those who know us best, as there is a certain degree of safety offered in known relationships, and safety and security are ultimately what we are angling for now. If someone does permit us to assist them, we will make sure they don't forget it. Reminders of how giving and generous we are subtly imply that we are owed a debt of gratitude, which inevitably breeds resentment, making the other party wish they hadn't asked in the first place. We should monitor our actions closely today. Self-reflection is the only way to determine whether we are out of line or overstepping another's boundaries. This is a day of revisiting and revising your goals. Keep a journal to make sure that you're on track with your dreams.